with icy patches across central parts, milder in the southwest. A high of 11 degrees Celsius in the south and down to lows of 7 in the north. Well, that's the latest now. Here is Mel and Sue. to Zora there, the, uh, the news boar who's hunting down uh, topical truffles for your entertainment. She didn't mean boar as in B-O-R-E, it no. was boa. boa. But, but not, I've employed pig there, Zora, which sure. bad. We made a bad start there, but uh, loving your work, loving your work. Hello there, gang. Sorry for the use of gang. I'm Mel. Hello there, I'm not. And welcome to one hour of unmitigated hilarity that's been collapsed into 20 minutes of piffle due Absolutely. to lack of talent and very much interest. Now, for those of you, those, those few of you who may... My mum. Yes, your mum, yeah. basically, who might just have been wondering now I remember those two they used to do that hilarious series of bread adverts <laughs> and I slightly <laughs> and I slightly wonder where have they been for the last three years well this is to give you a little bit of a clue as to what I've been doing <laughs> there she is looking good I explored of course other career options yeah <laughs> Very lucrative it was. I got three luncheon vouchers, one o IOU from Simon Cow. But do you know you're not allowed to touch the punters? That ruined my day. That is that a terrible. Oh, having dear. said that, this show is not about the two of us. Or even just about me. Sadly sorry. Not. But uh, we're not even supposed to be here, but security was very, very lax, and the real presenters, Angela Rippon and Vanessa Feltz, couldn't be here. Sorry about that. Looking forward to them tomorrow. Now, what did we do last night? It was a fascinating weekend. I had a cracker of a weekend, guys. I watched Ski Sunday. Love the Sunday. Anyone watch Love Ski Sunday, Sunday here? Love it. Sunday. No one just asked them. <laughs> well, I'd like to know why the skiers do this, the, 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 the sort of crowd. Uh, what's that about? <laughs> it's an ululation. Look, there's some goats coming onto oh, no. the piece. It's, it's the Maori welcome. <laughs> Like that, or something. Yes, Maybe yes, not. in Courcheval, which is strange. There very, very strange. Now, the good thing about yesterday's Ski Sunday was, of course, our GB hope... Which means disappointment, uh, was, in real uh, terms. ...was Alan Baxter, who came something like, I don't know, 17th, because he had a cold. Terrible, a cold. isn't it? He said, oh, my glands are slightly up. All right, and uh, sorry, if you'd like to complain, if you live sorry in Scotland, uh, why sorry not write that. to Mel here at Rise for that? It's slightly Bosnian for my money. Uh, I used to love uh, Graham and Martin Bell, oh. whose names, of course, are synonymous with the phrase bringing up the rear end Absolutely. and uh, what I really like about British skiers is that you know fans clamour they grow up on a, on a mountainside uh, we here in the UK we get 10 minutes on a dry ski slope in Hillingdon and off they pop to the Winter Olympics it's Absolutely. terrible do check out Ski Sunday it's top viewing now have we got a guest for you this I hope morning. so because this is a chat show indeed if I told you <laughs> that his first name was Linford and his surname is Christy you might have some kind of a clue as to who he is is it Chesney Hall Half right, no. all wrong. No. It is, of course, mind control genius Darren Brown. Oh, there we Yeah. I'm a bit scared. It's of the Darren. fangs and the cape that His do it for power. me. Terrifying. His power. We're going to be talking to uh, Darren very, very soon. Well, hopefully, if we shut up. Uh, so, if you'd like to ask him a question such as, who did Elvis pretend to be when he was hypnotised? You can, of course, call us on 0207 221. Thanks, Edith. You're the wind beneath my wings. 221 4444. Or you can text us. And to do this, you have to do rise, then the message, and then you press 83188. Do you understand that technology? I have no idea. She what hasn't that was. got a clue. She hasn't got a clue. But All just text us rise. 83188. Of course, as Darren's here, we're going to be investigating the power of the mind. Mind control is a very skilled art now. So watch as I read Mel's mind. Okay. If you'd like to turn your jaunty little youth ponytail towards me. It's on one side. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's appealing to literally, I think, no one here. Um, OK, I'm going to read your mind. OK, read it. Done I... that now. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hypnotise Mel using a power of spooky hands oh, like no, that. No, hang on, And hang for on. speed, a bit of that. Yes, OK. OK, I'm there, hypnotising I'm there. you. Yes. All right, when you hear the keyword Darren, yeah. you'll become Chewbacca. OK. When you hear the keyword Brown, you'll hush with that okay. already. OK, she's done. She's out of it. There you go. It's as simple as that, mind control. How do you feel? I feel good, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The same? The same, yeah, absolutely fine. OK, yeah. all right then. So it's time, then, of course, to welcome our guest today, Darren no! Brown. <laughs> Chewbacca in labour. Did I say Chewbacca? No. <laughs> Give me anxious Chewbacca. No. Good. Oh. So of course it's time to meet Darren. Oh. <laughs> Brown. That's Darren. Oh. Day. Gotcha. Oh, okay. You First, let's introduce you. the house band. They were massive in the 70s. They slimmed down a bit in the 80s. But they ballooned in the 90s. Please welcome. <laughs> 
it's very much ah